Okay, so we got uh, Dad come in and help me, and I got everything done. But I'm just gonna go over and show y'all how to do everything <clears throat> right quick. Um, these fingers, we've got them set right with the tips right on the edge to where they're supposed to be. Uh, you get all your slack out. You can't see that one, but it's on it. Uh, but they're, they're all where they're supposed to be now. I've got it in cycle. I'm going to cycle it and I'm going to check, show y'all how to check the gap between those fingers and the uh, twine arms. Okay, um, before I start with that, the gapping on those plunger fingers to set them to the, uh, the twine arms to the plunger fingers or plunger is supposed to be one and a half to two and a quarter and I got it set on two and a quarter that was the closest I could get it in range without uh, coming over here and adjusting the fork with its adjustment right here I, it, it's in so I'm just going to let it uh, be there if it's an issue then I'll adjust it what extra I need out right there but I couldn't get it to exactly in between like I wanted it. I wanted it in between the minimum and the longest, but I got it set on the longest, so Hopefully that'll be good enough um, Now on these you turn you trip your knotters and then you turn them till these tips are Just past I actually should have went a little bit further just past uh, these arms just a little bit and then you measure your gap between the two and it's supposed to be an eighth to three sixteenths the longest so we're going to measure it you stick your tape in there like that to your arm and you measure it it is measuring three sixteenths and i'm going to leave them alone with that now to adjust the distance on those you loosen these bolts up if it's too uh, long or short there's one on the front and one on the back just like this and you slide this whole plate right here that this is mounted to to adjust your gap on those now to adjust the p uh, position this way you adjust this rod but to adjust your gap between the two of these you loosen these bolts up and you can see there's a slide in there that those slide back and forth on. I didn't have to do that because it was already where it's supposed to be. Um, but the way you adjust these for timing is, is is when it's in home position, they're supposed to be even with the edge of this plate right here, as I showed y'all just a few minutes ago. So as long as they're on the edge, the point is you're good to go. Um, now all that's timed right and it's set right now now that the bar is straightened and hold oh, me let me pull this over so okay now now that i got the bar back in i just want to show y'all how much gap there is there's a gap there where this was hitting it's not hitting no more so we got all that right and the fingers are both even the ones with these rods here these are both even now where they weren't pulling even before and everything's timing right so now that all that's done we got the i've checked the plunger i've checked the needle arms i've checked the uh, twine fingers everything in that part of the, of the system that was bent is now in time and where it's supposed to be uh, the knotters have adjustments they do have gaps you were supposed to check um, with the faint with the uh, with these pieces and then there's a uh, I know there these little fingers back here are supposed to have gaps set and all up uh, you check all that but all that's fine so I'm not gonna worry with it uh, if I ever have an issue with it, I'll make sure I make a video of all that. But until I have an issue, I'm not even going to fool with it. But um, that should have everything the way it's supposed to be. 
Okay, so just to show y'all what I'm talking about on the knotters is like your stripper arm adjustment, you have a gap it's supposed to be set at. And then you have a twine disc adjustment. They're supposed to be set at a certain gap. It's hard to see it in this book, but all those things, there's little pieces in there that's supposed to be checked, but I, if you're not having an issue, I wouldn't worry about checking them uh, on those, so. All right, so that wraps up the uh, 1837, other than putting teeth on it. I'm gonna be done with this thing. We're gonna get it back out the door. And read up till it's time to bail hay and hopefully it all works the way it's supposed to. That's what I'm hoping for. If it don't, <laughs> I'm going to be in for a real good time then. But uh, thanks for watching everybody. Give me a thumbs up. Everybody giving me hell that I only have 45 subscribers but, uh, that I know that watches me. Compared to like one lonely and all of them, but I ain't. It takes a long time to do get the stuff built up, and YouTube holds you back. They put you through trials and tests, it seems like to me, because it's all about how many pages they like. If a farm, somebody's watching Farmville, like One Lone Farmer or How Farms Work, it's all about in the recommended section if they throw my video up for somebody to see. The only other way somebody's gonna find my videos is if they search and find something that they're looking for it'll pop up and generally if you don't have any views you're gonna be all the way at the bottom of that list it takes a long time to get to get things built up to where you can get pretty steady i'd like to get to a thousand views video or 500 if i can do that i'll feel pretty well accomplished uh, we're getting there it's taking a little time but we're getting there i mean it ain't gonna be no overnight success start from scratch so hopefully this has been interesting for y'all I hope y'all learned something um, I, I tell you what this people gives me hell about it you go try to start your YouTube channel see if you get 45 subscribers to sit down and watch you every day it's tough There's a lot of work in editing all these but I appreciate everybody that watches me. I really do. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing it because I like doing it. It's fun. Uh, we've reached the 40 uh, subscriber mark, so the sunglasses are going to be coming. I've got to go uh, get them. I'm thinking about driving a store that's supposed to have them near me and just getting them rather than ordering them. So I'm probably gonna be getting the Go Vision uh, sunglasses. The 1080p HD and supposed to have real good sound. Well, they're supposed to be one of the best for uh, glasses with a camera mount in. So we'll give, try it, and see how it works. But, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up, y'all. See you later.